Uh, the Soccer Sevens was an idea that originated 14 years ago and it was based on an international school competition and it's largely retained that flavour over the years but now we have an incredible number of school teams competing I think somewhere around 145 school teams on 12 pitches so it's grown it's probably outgrown um, itself at the moment in its current format one of the really good things about football is that it's a universal sport at the moment, worldwide sport, uh, for boys and for girls. And this is, I think, one of the few competitions that handles and caters to both boys and girls in such uh, large numbers. So we hope that it will continue to grow and that it will continue to inspire young athletes to um, go all the way as far as they can in that sport. I think it's a particularly good thing to be held here in Phuket because uh, with so many people there must be perhaps two and a half thousand people coming to Phuket just for this tournament when you include the coaches and the parents and the grandparents uh, we had visitors fly in from Chicago just to see this tournament um, these were people who were our partners in Cruzeiro so people are coming from all over the world to come here now uh, I think it's incumbent upon us to make something very special of this build on the enthusiasm use local support and try and make this something very special for Thailand. It's badly needed in Asia. I think that uh, cities like Singapore, Hong Kong seem to attract all the attention. Here's a great opportunity for an island like Phuket to develop this facility, this sporting competition and become known as a world centre. I'm also hopeful that we can, I, I suppose, uh, encourage our Brazilian partners at Cruzeiro to take a little more interest in what we're doing. They're really, really supportive, and I think that you'll see great things from this school and from Cruzeiro and from the island in the near future. It's been a pleasure being here. The weather didn't spoil the enthusiasm. Thank you.